Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. Um, if you would like to see how I achieve this, then stay tuned. But first, this is not a tutorial. I um, am still experimenting, still learning with my own hair. So if you want to see what I did, then keep watching. But if you're trying to copy me, um, just take precautions for what you may need to do because uh, everybody's hair is different. Have a great Valentine's Day, you guys, and bye. Good morning, everyone. I'm back. Day two of my flat ironing process, and I'm about to get started. Um, I am going to flat iron, of course, in very small sections. Um, I'm going to use my Revlon Smooth Stay. Uh, it's titanium. You can see it looks like a mirror. And the settings go up to 30, but I'm going to leave it on like 25. And I think it's supposed to go up to, um, well, the box said up to like 400. So 25 is definitely away from 450. So. 450, 451 is supposed to be what uh, will burn your hair. And I'm not trying to get more heat damage like I did in the past. Um, I'm going to be using this Silk Elements with uh, olive oil heat protective spray on each section as I um, go through it. And I have this, but I don't think I'm going to use this. I think I prefer to use my... Um, comb my little comb only because the teeth are smaller so I feel like it'll work better it'll get it straighter versus the teeth are a bit wider here I mean if it starts to snag or something then uh, I just may go ahead and start using this one instead um, I have my scissors my shears so I'm gonna be trimming my ends as I go so let's get started so I've already started <clears throat> I'm just gonna show you what I do I take some of the silk elements and this is starting to get slippery because it has oil in it so I'm just going to spray it, spray it in my hands and put it on my hair. You can see it's all shiny and glossy. I'm going to try to comb through it just a little bit but my comb of course won't go through it right now so I'm making two passes. I know a lot of people like to do only one, but I believe my hair is thick enough to where it can handle two. It probably can handle more, but I'm only going to do two. So I'm going to do one quick pass just to make it straight enough so that the comb can glide all the way through. You know, a little snag. It's not that big of a deal, but I just want the comb to go through so when I do the chase method, it actually works. Um... I hit my roots maybe like three times. You know, with the um, with flat ironing, I never have a, have any issues with my roots staying straight. My issues is my ends. My all my hair will be straight, but my ends will be fluffy. And then I do the chase method. And I try to go down slow. And I'm trimming my ends as I go. I'm going to add just a little bump to it. So I don't have to go back over it later. And I'm pretty much trimming, I'll say maybe a fourth of an inch to half an inch. It just depends on how it looks because these ends look kind of rough. I'm not so much worried about um, my ends being even either because with curly hair you don't notice your hair not being even so I'm not worried about that now either. And so yeah it was somewhat below my boob but now it's up here 
but oh well. See how my ends look fluffy? I just don't like that. Maybe when I wrap it, it'll look better. But that's it so far. And then it's like, it's below my bra. But, because you can see my bra is right here. It's below my bra, but I guess when I move around, you can't really see. It looks like it's just at my bra. Oh, well. So I'm going to keep um, flat ironing. And I guess when I'm maybe like halfway through, I'll come back and show you some more. Hey, I'm on the front section now. I've done the back. Yeah. My little one just came in here. <clears throat> I just don't get why is it the rest of my hair will straighten out and be nice looking but the ends just don't want to straighten out like the rest I mean they'll straighten out but then they'll go right back fluffy and that just kind of irritates me I guess I'll figure out what to do with it to make it look better. <clears throat> so I'm just doing the comb chase method. Some of these sections in the front, I don't think I have to go over it twice. So I'm doing it just once. And I still think this side of my hair is longer. <laughs> than this side oh. but I don't know guess we'll see in the end if you can notice um, the the smoke that you see is not my hair burning it's this silk elements stuff it's uh, almost like it's evaporating or steaming or something I don't know but it doesn't smell like burnt hair in here it just smells like the silk elements <clears throat> So when I turn the camera off, that's when she decides to get quiet. When I turn it back on, as you can hear, she wants to make more noise. I think she likes being on camera. Anyway, I'm going to continue to flat iron and trim some of these ends. I'm still trimming about a fourth of an inch to half an inch off of my whole head. Some um, parts don't need to be trimmed as... Uh, short as others but I'm not like taking a whole lot off so okay I'm on my last section or my last little piece of hair and comb through it a little bit the top of my hair was a whole lot easier to do than the back the back of my the back of my hair is more coarse and the curls are more tight and the top ah! is loose mm. and so it was quicker to actually flat iron I could even do the sections a little bit bigger my last section finally Well, see as you can see my roots look good and you know my roots will stay like this for probably like two weeks it's the ends of my hair that puff up and do all kinds of crazy stuff I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Oh, this looks so cute. On this side, this side already starting to fall and stuff. Ooh, that looks
looks real puffy. <laughs> but it's still cute. Well, this is it. And this is not a tutorial. This is me practicing on my own head. Because uh, if you remember, I told you I once was natural for like seven years. And my hair barely left my shoulders because all I did was flat iron. I had nothing but heat damage. So I'm learning how to take care of my hair now. Grow it longer. And um, not have heat damage when I do flat iron. So, so I'm going to put some olive oil on my hair on the ends mostly for my hair because it's so thick I actually need something heavy on it I actually thought about doing castor oil but it might be a little bit too sticky so I'm just gonna put olive oil on my ends and then um, probably wrap my hair for a while hopefully it'll help set my hair more and make these ends flatten out as you can see it's straight but these ends they just like to puff up so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wrap my hair and when I'm done um, after I get all done up and stuff I'll come back and show you some pictures and that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.